Alright guys, and welcome to my Shaman Leveling Guide for Cataclysm Classic. These are the topics that we're going to cover. Best Eldims and Enchants, Talents and Glyphs, Pre-Questing and the Fastest Methods, and lastly, how on earth do you actually play the class? For Looms, you should go for the Male Agility set, same as the Hunter, with greater stats on the chess piece. For Weapons, you can go for the Mace or the Dagger, both are very good. And with a new Collection tab, you don't have to farm two of them anymore. I've personally always preferred to level up my shaman with daggers. It just feels amazing with that flurry talent on all your weapon procs popping off. If you already have a two-hander heirloom and you can't be bothered farming more badges, you can use the two-hander once you unlock storm strike. It's not too bad. It's quite powerful. But remember, you can no longer use lava lash, which is way more powerful in the later levels for cleave DPS. I'd recommend enchanting your weapons with life stealing. You'll self heal so much of it while leveling a shaman, it's great. Now the spec I'd recommend the most would have to be enhancement. It's very, very efficient now, has great cleave DPS, and it's very, very fun to play. You now get flame nova, very low level. So taking on multiple enemies is very easy. You also get a movement speed increase in talent, similar to a paladin's pursuit of justice, which you know, helps moving around a lot faster. If you're doing pre-questing guys, the best ones to get are definitely the dungeon quests, even the daily heroic ones, but the weekly raid quest won't grant any XP. If you've already done those quests, then what you want to do is just stack a load of dailies from Northrend, from the Sons of Hodor, Ogrim's Hammer, and the Argent Tournament. I've actually made an optimal pre-questing route for all subscribers, just go to my channel page and check out my subscriber only video. Shaman are more than capable at soloing instances once they have good enough gear. I like to do this while I'm waiting for the dungeon finder to pop. I'd recommend doing every single dungeon at least once while leveling up to pick up the new quests that are at the start of the dungeon, since they reward insane XP. By level 60 to 70, you can farm Blood Furnace for optimal XP per hour, 70 to 80, Botanica. Then over at level 80, honestly, I'd recommend leveling in the open world because you will need a reputation for pre raid best in slot raid gear, and the shorter enchants from the Ferrazane faction. The fastest route to level up in the open world is provided by the Resid XP add-on. You can find the download link for that in the description. The playstyle is pretty straightforward. You pull mobs with flame shock or on your mount, clump them up together, and then you use fire nova before you drop your magma totem. And then when you obviously have five stocks of maelstrom weapon, you use chain lightning. Remember at level 57 you can actually use Lava Lash to spread your Flame Shock and that happens because of the improved Lava Lash talent. And lastly, remember to obviously keep Lightning Shield and Flame Tongue weapon up. Be sure to stay tuned guys, I'm going to be making leveling guides, well actually, this is the last leveling guide finally. So all of the leveling guides are now finally out on the channel, I'll link a playlist to them all in the description. Anyway, ciao.